This little apple charm is secured with a bulb pin through an eyelet on the cover. I added some lace, a couple prima flowers, and of course, some bling. Here's the side profile of this journal. Hello everyone, welcome into my craft space. Today I'm excited to share with you this beautiful journal that I just created. We've been working on it for the last few Thursdays over on Facebook. Uh, we, being myself and my friend Tamara from Tamara's Designs, she came up with the idea to do apple picking with friends and she created this beautiful digital and then we went live together and we invited a friend. It was so much fun. If you've missed it, you can definitely catch the replay over on Facebook. Uh, my page has some of the days and her page has some of the days. So we've been kind of having fun bouncing back and forth uh, on a little page hop. So definitely join us both if you'd like to see more about how this was created. Let's get into the flip through. So this was made from canvas panels. There's a canvas panel on the front and the back. And then to hide some of the construction, I do have some fabric there. We've got some wonderful uh, tie closure here with a little charm. I love it. And another little charm here. Some cute little rhinestones there. And then this was from one of the, I think it was Somerset Magazine. Uh, if you pick the fruit yourself, that also helps to release a particular kind of chemical that makes you feel happy. And it's just clipped there with a little apple paper clip. You can see that little charm a little better too, upside down. Spot for some journaling or photos. This recipe was also from a magazine. I think that same one It's for apple puree. How fun is that? And that is protected in there by a PET sticker that's of the jar. A little flip out here and a pocket up here as well. So you can tuck in some other recipes. That's also what you could put here. You could put some apple pie recipes, maybe a photo of your grandma or somebody who used to make that for you. A little bead and bow here with a little cluster. Loving that. Then we've got some die cut and uh, distressed leaves. And a beautiful little wax mount there. I love how that turned out. Got a die cut of a tree. It's just loose hanging out in there. If you don't want that, you can take it out. You can put it anywhere you'd like. You can maybe even put it behind these leaves over here and put a photo or another recipe there. Anything what you'd like. And I love this one here too. This is part of the digitals from Tamara's Designs. Now these digitals are free on Coffee, um, K-O-F-I. And she has plenty more downloads to offer there for free. So definitely check it out if you haven't checked it already. And then you can play along and make your own beautiful little Apple book. Got some fun little tags in here. Another one of those distressed leaves. Love that. This is a glassine bag with a pocket. Fun little tag tuck here. Another spot you could put a little quote or uh, maybe a little recipe down here. Some pictures here or a quote. Do some journaling. Oh, yeah, there's a little basket charm up there. I love that as well. Now, this is a fun little thing. We made this in my private group, Frap House Fun, over on Facebook. And it opens up like a little fruit basket. How cute is that? And there is a little charm here. I've added this and a fun little apple eyelet. I love using brads and eyelets. I do typically have them for sale quite often. So if you uh, message me, if you are interested in those, got some fun tags here and those just live inside the basket. Now on the outside of this basket is a 3D texture fade from Tim Holtz and Sizzix. And it just gives it that uh, extra texture like a basket. And I thought it'd be perfect next to these little baskets in the printable. Oh, and it says apple picking with friends because that was the uh, theme of our event. Then I used the rest of that bag. This was a paper bag. Then I used the rest of that bag over here to make a nice little tuck. I've got a fun journaling card here backed with just some red paper. You could put another photo there or a uh, some journaling. There is another little tag in here. So it's fun to put some little goodies inside of these bags. Maybe you have uh, gone to a farm or something of that nature to pick apples or what have you. This is also a little tuck right here. You can put a little tag. In fact, maybe we will just put this little tag so you know that it's a pocket. There we go. 
uh, little page for some tucks again. Uh, use some of that texture fade as well there to get the little basket. And uh, it's got like a, the basket down here. So it kind of matches the little basket weave. This could also be a really great pie crust if you're trying to make a little apple pie die cut. Give it some good texture. Here we've got the farmer's market kind of a page and it opens up to show more of that market. And then a smaller version of it here as a journaling card or photo mat. Then we close all of this up and we are back to the back side here where it has my handmade by Fraps and Scraps logo there. So I hope you have enjoyed looking at this fun book and that you will give me a big thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, do all those fun things. And if you haven't checked out the event or my friend Tamara's uh, socials, she's Tamara's Designs. She's on YouTube. She's also on Facebook. And we just have a lot of fun crafting together. So uh, I hope you will check it out and see what else we have in store. We have some really fun things coming up for the rest of October. We're live every Thursday on Facebook at 1130 Pacific Standard Time. 1230 Mountain Time, 130 Central Time, and 230 eastern standard time oh boy and we hope you will uh join us and join the fun um like our videos subscribe do all the things and stay tuned for more fun thanks so much for checking out my book